In this video, we are going to be looking at the image control. Uh, the image control in ASP.NET is used to display um, an image on the page. Uh, the most important property of this control is the image URL property, which will allow you to set the URL of the image that will be displayed on the image control. So uh, once you have the image in your website, you can actually point, uh, you can set the image URL so that the image will be uh, displayed in the image control. Uh, other properties include the alternate text property, which will be displayed in case the user are turned off the images in their browser for accessibility reasons. Uh, this alternate text is used to, for example, if you have a logo on your website and uh, you have or a header on the website, and um, if the user turn off the uh, image on the website or if they use uh, accessibility and utilities on the computer, they'll be able to, the alternate text is going to tell them what the image is about so if the image is for example if the image is a logo image you can set the alternate text to logo so that when the person uh, actually is using accessibility, accessibility uh, utility on the computer it's going to tell them that the image there is a logo image um, you can also provide a description url of the image so that the user can get more details on a particular image if you set the description url then that means when the um, the user clicks on the image it will take them to another page where the full details of the particular of the image uh, the full details of the image is uh, located uh, another properties of the image control is the generate empty alternate text this will set the alt attribute of uh, the image tag to be empty so if you know HTML and you've written an image control before, it's going to set the alt attribute of image uh, tag to be empty. So that means uh, this is usually used for any image that doesn't have any ad, uh, alternate text. So if it's, you're just using it for just the fancy uh, prettiness, if you just want, you're just using it for the sake of using it and it doesn't have any, doesn't have any value to it, you can set the alternate text to be empty. So let's go to VWD 2008 and see the example of what we've done. So if we go to the design view. As you can see, I have added an image control. So and the image control is located here. So if you drag an image control to the page. So let's do that now. Let me show you. You drag one to the page and it's just going to be empty as such. So how do I get image on it? I'll show you. So let me delete what I just added. Is if you want to add an image on your computer to the uh, project, what you do is you right click on the project. Remember, normally we select add new item. Uh, this is not what you do because the new item is an item that is not already on our system. So that's not what we want to do. What we want to do is you want to add an existing item. So if you say add existing item right click on the project and choose add existing item then it's going to allow you to browse your computer so you can go to picture or whatever your picture is located and you can pick one so let's pick the jellyfish and say add and as you can see it had just added the jellyfish into the uh, system so this is how you had an image but this is not the proper way to uh, create your website because you need to add most of this item into maybe a separate folder called images so this is just a simple example when we're going to be developing our website in the future you see how i arrange my folders so um so once that is done then what i did is i s uh, now select the image control as you can see you can use the guide here to either increase or decrease the size so you can you know make it as big as you really want to so um so once you select the image control of maybe from the property here you can set uh the width if it's visible to be true the image url when you if you want to set the image url you click on this ellipsis and it's going to bring out all the content in the folder that matches uh, this extension, the GIF file, the JPEG, the BMP, the PNG. So as you can see, these are all the items I've already added to my project. So I just selected one of them and automatically added it to it. So now here we've set the height. Uh, what else property have we also set? And that's it. That's all we have set. 
so but uh, to make the uh, program uh, the application web application to be more fun I've added three uh, radio buttons and I've configured them as you can see I've set the uh, group name so that they all uh, behave in groups to the same thing so what I did is I, I wanted to uh, to change the pictures here depending on which of these uh, radio buttons is being selected so let's go to the source code and have a look of what I have done so these are the radio button I've set the group name to be image I've set the text on it the auto post back I set it to true you know the reason why we always set our uh, auto post back and I don't want to repeat that uh, so and on checked change remember the uh, default uh, event under for uh, a radio button so this is what I've done with each button. So I've actually configured the default, uh, the default event handler for each um, radio button, so that whenever the uh, the checked, the check property of the radio buttons change, I want to set uh, the image one, which is going, which is, this is the image control. I want to set the image URL to be this image. And if the radio button 2 is uh, checked, I want to uh, set the image URL of the image control to this image. And I did the same thing for image, um, for radio button 3. So this is a very simple, straightforward uh, code. You should be able to understand it. This is the image control. And I set the image URL to whichever image I've chosen. But remember, these images must be added in advance to your project. And as you can see, this chrysanthemum which I've never had before. Uh, that, this is the one which I've added to my page, so I want to set it to that. So if you run our page now, we can see that it's actually, you know, it works uh, absolutely fine. So let's run the page. So uh, as you can see, this is our page and the default image URL that I set. Remember, I set a default image URL, so this is what's going to pop up in our image uh, control. But if I should select maybe the second image, uh, the the, if I should select the second image, it's going to reload the page and it's going to change. It has already changed the image, but because it's the same image as the default image, that's why we haven't seen the changes. So let's change it to the first image. As you can see, it changes the image. The third image, uh, it changes. The second image, it changes. First image, changes. So this is. Uh, this is not a perfect way to uh, <laughs> change your images, but uh, so you you know what I mean. You understand we use the button. I mean the radio button control and the image control. Just want to show you how the image control works. Don't worry about the codes for the uh, radio button. So um, this is how you use the image control and some of the properties. So um, if I sh let me go over the uh, some of the properties as well and see. Uh, as you can see, we have the description URL which I was talking about before it will take you to another page which will show you the details of the for example if this is a bar chart or a pie chart which is an image which is a complex image we can set a URL that will take us to another you know, we can point it to another page and it's going to tell us more information about the image and uh, what else do I need to so um, as you can see you can set the image image aligned you can set where you want the image to be aligned to if you can play around with some of these properties in your own image so i hope you've understood what the image control does and i'm going to see you in the next video thank you